it's B and I know it's been a while. I actually just came back home. We just finished filming a video project so you should head out to my YouTube channel Cute. It's my dance channel and maybe we'll see it over there soon. I went to San Francisco to see the Gazette and then we followed them all the way to LA. So this is why I am going to show you what's in my travel makeup bag. The vlog on my travels will be up before this, so check it out. It's probably linked somewhere here. Anyways, let's get on with my travel makeup bag. So I pack with the intention of looking good, looking sparkly, looking fabulous. Yeah, that's the best thing. But in the most part, this is everything that I brought. This bag, it ties up with a ribbon and I got it from Suarez Cuff. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. You can actually hang it. Yes. It's a pretty, pretty smaller type toilet thing hanging bag. I actually got this a few years ago and I decided to actually use this for traveling because it's pretty convenient. I can hang it anywhere and it rolls up. It has three compartments. It has the mesh one, the plastic one, and just a, a big pocket. Let's go with the mesh part and obviously I think you can see that I have my brushes here. I know it's dirty because I just used it also for filming and whatnot. These are my bamboo brushes I got from Amazon. It's pretty cheap but it functions really well. This one is the number one must-have. It's a big buffer brush. I like to use this for everything. For um, liquid foundation, powder foundation, for contour, highlight, whatever. It, it just does everything. If I don't have other things, this is my most important one. And then I have this, which I like to use if I want to be extra for my contour, for um, highlight. This does everything, but uh, this has more precision because it's smaller. I like to use it too. This is my big buffing brush. I like to take any translucent powder and then just buff it in just to make sure my makeup is flawless. These are the other eyeshadow brushes I use. I have the regular eyeshadow brush and then I have the crease brush. And then I have some other random ones. I think I brought more but for the most part these are the things I use. Uh, my Laura Geller uh, double-ended brush. In case I feel like my contour has to be more on point, I probably use this one. An Urban Decay from my Naked One palette which I lost. My Essence of Beauty eyeliner brush which I use most likely for um, for my eyebrows. For the most part that was my brushes. And then for the second part, I shall go through it. We just picked this one up right before we left for San Francisco and it is amazing. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer 03 Light Beige. A lot of people have been raving about this. Gabby needed a new foundation and I went to the store and unfortunately they were out of the L'Oreal one so I just looked around and this was there because usually I see it around and it's always sold out. I came to see what the hype is all about, right? Yes, loving this. Pretty good coverage so I think I shall review it in my vlog. I probably will mention this again in the big haul I'm doing soon. What's on my lips right now? I have been trying to collect these. I actually brought two. I have the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Color and this one is Cherry Cobbler Sugared Plum. I have been using this mostly like for the when it's time for the concert and whatnot. The day we left LA, this is the color I've been using. I ventured out into purple and it was pretty cool. It matched my shirt, so I was excited for that. I have my trusty eyebrow glue from KISS. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I'm growing out my hair, as you can see. I'm growing out the blondish copper part. Going back to black. I don't need the, the colored eyebrow mascara anymore, so I'm just using a clear brow in case that I need to brush it all up and just make it really, really tame. I have the e.l.f. Eye Concealer and Highlight. Loving using this. I don't really have really dark circles, so I'm not bothered that this is not full coverage. But it does help in brightening, even just for the concealer. For days that I do feel like I want some shine, but not a lot of blinding glow, I use the highlight part. It's very affordable. It works to some extent. If you need more coverage, you probably won't like this. It just applies easy and just a little something for your makeup. I have two eyeliners. One from L'Oreal, the Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner because I felt like I needed to do something else aside from gel eyeliner. Although I haven't really been using this, I've been using my sister's Kat Von D Felt Tip Eyeliner. For my under eye liner, I've been using this Rimmel Exaggerate Liner. 
I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I have just discovered the Benefit What's Up Soft Focus Highlighter for the face. Desi Perkins has been talking about this a lot. I actually got this as a birthday perk from Sephora and I've been using it just recently. And I have discovered how much shine you can get with just this little thing. It's amazing. I also have my Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. I just use it to reinforce my lashes when I have my false lashes on. It, it works okay and it's easy to work on the lower lashes if I feel like I need that va va boom just to make my eyes pop more. But it works, it works, and yeah. For the last item in that compartment was this VA Star Holo Silver Glitter. And it actually came with its glue and I remember I brought it actually used it yeah that's somewhere here but this is a uh, really fine glitter supposedly BA star is for you know cheerleaders performers so when I got the chance to review this it fits perfectly because now I perform more than ever but I use this for the concert which is perfect who doesn't want to be blinged out when you go to a concert right okay for the last part of my travel bag. I have this big apartment and the biggest thing I see here is my Evian facial spray. Good if yeah you want to be working out and you want to wipe off all that salty sweat. I just use this for wetting my brush before applying the glitter so it sticks on better. Another batch of my false eyelashes from Daiso and I have been using this and this is pretty good. Now that there are three pairs for a dollar something I think this is the best deal because it fits my eye. Boardwalk Boozing Shadow Palette from Wet n Wild. I wasn't really able to use a lot of this but this was limited edition for early their spring I think. Wet n Wild usually has really 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 nice uh, shadows so if you cannot afford Urban Decay or whatnot, it's not up there like Urban Decay but since it's hard to find colorful eyeshadows, if you find something from Wet n Wild, you should try it out because who knows, it might work for you. This is actually new and I just noticed I hit pan on it today because I used this for um, contouring my face and my dancer's face. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and Contour. This is in Caramel Toffee. Everyone knows that contouring is very, very big right now. Not only because of Instagram. Honestly, I have been bronzing up my face, contouring my face for as long as I remember. Because a few years ago, I got really big. And um, when I started getting makeup, I just didn't want a big, you know, big fluffy face. And um, I tried very hard to look for uh, drugstore alternatives. I think um, NYC has that bronzer which is good for contouring. This time it has the banana powder. Well we call it banana because it's yellow. I picked this up compared to the other one which is I think pinkish. It's new but I'm I'm like using this almost every day now. Filming, concerts, whatever. For the price it does the job. I think it was like five dollars. Really? Seriously? This is also a new purchase. Uh, like a few weeks ago before that. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. But it's not a bronzer. It's actually a highlighter. It's in Reserve Your Cabana. This is the kind of highlighter that will give you that really nice sheen. It's one of my favorites. It's really soft. It feels smooth. It smells good. And it's cheap. Like $5 again. I picked this out probably in a bargain shop because I think they're phasing this out. But this is the Rimmel London 029 Afternoon Tea Quad Eyeshadow. and. Until now, I have been using this. I mean, the shimmery inside is something different, but the camel colored and the shimmery brown color, that's what I've, I use and have been using as my crease sort of contour for the eye. My powder that I have been using during the trip is the BH Cosmetics Matte Finish Press Powder, and I think this is the 23. I reviewed this thinking that I would be getting something close to MAC. It is not up to par. It does something. Uh, the coverage isn't all that great, but it does something. I'm out of my MAC powder, so this is all I'm using right now. So it's okay. It's okay. It's like $5 or less, maybe. So I can't complain. And I already have it, so I might as well use it, right? This weird bottle of milky looking stuff is actually my Nivea uh, balm shave thing. I didn't want to bring the whole glass jar. It preps your face to accept the makeup. 
honestly it smells so sexy i love it if like my past videos have i've been using that and i have still been using it until now and then i have my trusty um curler that i got from ipsy that one time epl apl epl collagen and vitamin e cleansing tissues i got this from the i don't know what's it grocery outlet or something um it says 99 cents for a pack of this and it works and the last thing i have here is my rimmel stay matte powder i just take my really fluffy brush swirl it around and that's how i set my face i usually use my nyc um, loose powder but since i am traveling i didn't want to bring loose powder and then like poof out everywhere it's not cute so i just use this press the one i can stay matte all day long from all the traveling for all the head banging rocking out so that is it in my empty bag i think so again this is from shuaros cough i got it as a gift or a prize an influencer i got their powder for volume and i guess they liked what i did for a post about it that they or the brand decided to give me a lot more things to try out and this was one of the things they gave me it's it's very pretty and i'm so thankful because now i decided to just keep using this instead of the usual like uh, baggy you know train case i feel like it's more organized that you can hang it and you can just grab stuff and everything doesn't just roll around so much not as much so yeah that is it for my travel bag if you have any suggestions anything you want to see from me feel free to comment because i'd like to know what you think if you haven't subscribed just feel free to subscribe uh, let's be friends i don't know what else to say but i'll see you later Throw, 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 throw it up Start twerking like Molly Twerking like Molly